Today we are taking a look at three courses from Colosso. Motion Graphics with Cinema 4D, Motion Design with Redshift, and Digital Avatar in Marvelous Designer. Colosso is an online learning platform that has a catalog of one of the best courses on the market, presented by professionals in their respective fields, such as renowned art directors and 3D artists. These instructors are all working with professional studios, so you know you are getting the cream of the crop, or what we call the good stuff. We're gonna start with Future Fashion with Marvelous Designer and Cinema 4D. It is an amazing course by Brian Nichols, and it teaches you step-by-step -step workflow on how to create garments and clothes for your digital characters in Marvelous Designer and Cinema 4D. The instructor is an art director at Future Deluxe Studio, a world-renowned studio that is working on a lot of projects. He also spent years in the industry working with a lot of other studios, and in this course, he's gonna share with you his knowledge, best tips, and a lot of insights. In this class that is divided into 7 sections and spans over 11 hours, you will learn how to use Dash 3D first and you will take a quick overview of the interface, create default characters and choose poses, and after that you will export your models and textures to Marvelous Designer. In the third section, which is all about Marvelous Designer, you will start by getting used to the interface and studying how fabric patterns are created and constructed using the powerful tool inside Marvelous Designer by creating a basic garment. In section 4, you will look at real garments and fabric patterns design to learn how clothes are made, and for that you will create a vision for your own custom designs. Throughout this section, you will be building 3 unique custom garments or clothes which are sport wear, spring or summer wear, and finally fall and winter wear with 2 variations. The next step is setting up the UVs and exporting your work to Cinema 4D. Section 6 is all about Cinema 4D. You will be building a simple environment where you're gonna showcase your work, learning how to set up materials, lighting, and even adding accessories to your characters like shoes, etc. You will also learn how to add hair to your characters using hair tools in Cinema 4D. And finally, you will render the result and import everything to Redshift for finishing touches like combining layers and color correction. The second training we're gonna take a look at today is high quality shading and lighting with Redshift by Korean professional 3D artist Yu Song Kim working with Tendril, a Canada-based motion graphics studio. Microsoft, Adobe, and ESPN are some of the major brands that Kim worked for and created various motion designs and even worked with Maxon for their logo animation. This course is for people who feel like they can break through a certain skill ceiling and for people who want to improve their renders by mastering look dev through shading and lighting. Throughout this course, you will be building three different scenes which consists of over 15 shots so you can practice the whole look dev process in addition to a lot of tips and tricks to boost your render's quality with render optimization. This 14-hour course is divided into 6 main sections. First, you will create a visual library which is a collection of render images and you will get an overview of Cinema 4D and get familiar with the interface. Next, you will see the basics of Redshift like the UI and layout settings and adding some basic lights and cameras. And you will finish the second section by discussing the ACES color system and why it is important, in addition to some key factors that you must know about. Next, in section 3, you will start building the scene sandbox. You will build the basic scene setup and see the essentials of redshift shaders and node setup, in addition to scene lighting and layout. Next, in section 4, you will build the scene puzzle and similar to the last section, you will go through the process of ideation and references and explore how to create different materials and shaders such as tactile, imperfections, transparency and so on. And for the last exercise, you will learn about lighting and shadows. You will also see some environment modeling and how to use 3D scans with Quixel library. And this one especially is jam-packed with a lot of information about materials in addition to lighting setups. Furthermore, some post-production in After Effects. This one is a great course if you want to see how professional artists work on their motion graphic animations as well as for those who have a grasp over the general workflow but are frustrated with their quality of their results and professional projects. In addition to those who can figure out which area of skills they lack, this course is in Korean but they have English subtitles. There is also another training called Cinema 4D Motion Training from the Basics to Master Level by Korean art director Wong Sang Kang. This course is gonna take you from basic to advanced, and it is designed to help you create trendy motion graphics and help you bring your skills to the next level. Throughout this accumulative 24-hour course, 
you will learn how to use Cinema 4D, Octane, and After Effects. And it covers everything from MoGraph, modeling, texturing, lighting, and image manipulation, and other parts of the workflow in the industry. Kang is an art director at The Mill, an industry-leading company in motion design, and some of their clients include Amazon, Google, and Samsung. He also worked on so many movies and music videos, such as True Detective 3 and a music video for Jay-Z. The True Detective 3 main tunnel got nominated for Outstanding Main Tunnel Design in the Emmys of 2019, and the music video got nominated for the Grammys for Best Music Video in 2017. The course is divided into five sections. The first few lessons will be of course all about learning the fundamentals of Cinema 4D such as the UI, and next you'll learn about the modeling using NURBS and polygons, also primary shapes and spline curves. These things are gonna be important later on when you start creating your animation. You will also learn about compositing, octane and lighting basics, in addition to color spaces, animation and everything in between. Throughout this training, you will be making animations using rigid bodies, soft bodies, custom camera rigs, camera modeling and AK setup. In addition to emitter simulation and spatial design, also liquid animation with MoGraph and volumes and a lot more. This training is also in Korean with English subtitles. It is extremely valuable and jam-packed with a lot of information. Also, you will get 20 practice exercises, 100 plus 4K design patterns and texture packages, and much more. If you are interested in these courses, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.